welcome back. Super excited. In this lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to download and install the newest version of Android Studio, which is 3.3 for Windows 64 bit. It's about a 944 megabyte worth of file. So let's go ahead. All you need to do is navigate to this URL, which is developer.android.com forward slash studio. And then once you're on this page, go ahead and click on download Android Studio. And this will bring up this dialog box. Simply accept the terms and conditions and go ahead and click on download studio for Windows. The next screen. So this is going to bring up the Windows Explorer where you need to navigate to the folder where you wish to save the executable file. So simply navigate to folder within your own computer and then click save. And this is going to go ahead and start the download process. So notice on the bottom, the download is started. So once the download is complete, we are going to install it. Perfect. So once the Android Studio 3.3 is downloaded, all you need to do is simply go ahead and click on it. And this will run the executable file for you. And after the verify, the installer verifies its settings, it's going to go ahead and of course run the installation and bring us certain screens, such as the first one you'll notice is the fact that it asks you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Of course. Simply go ahead and click yes. And once you click yes, the next dialog box will appear and then will walk us through the series of steps before we install Android Studio. The good part here is that it detects the old version of Android Studio. Since I already have it installed, I believe it's version 3.2, the earlier version, in program files, Android, Android Studio. It just says the version of Android is already installed. It is recommended to remove the older versions of Android and it does it for you. So notice the checkbox is checked where it says uninstall the previous version and the settings and configurations will not be deleted in this process, which is good because the newer version will have and bring in your old settings. So I'm going to click next. And by the way, before I click next, if you're installing this for the first time, you may not see this. All you are going to see is just the path. So you would just specify the path where to install Android Studio. So let's go ahead and click on next. And this will remove all of the program files under the Android Studio folder. Just another warning, cannot be undone. Are you sure you want to proceed? I'm going to say yes, go ahead. And of course, this is going to continue the process and take us to the next screen. The next dialog box is welcome to Android Studio setup. This will guide us through the installation process. Click next, I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then select the components. Of course, by default, Android Studio is selected. And then I also have the opportunity to select or choose Android virtual device. Now what this does is simply an emulator, right? So it allows you to, while you're creating your app or you're doing some development in Android Studio, it allows you to preview that, okay? So it's just a pre-configured and optimized Android virtual device so that you can test your app. So make sure this is selected, click next. Here's the same folder, path, click next. And then choose the start menu folder, and finally, you are going to click on install. I'm going to go ahead and click on install. And this is going to begin the installation process. So it's going to extract all the files and then run through the installation. At this point, you'll notice that the jar files are being extracted, right? So the .jar are simply Java archive files. So Android Studio, what's it doing is just pulling those files, extracting them, and then running through the installation. You will also see once we are done with the installation that Android Studio is based on IntelliJ IDE, which is the integrated development environment. Uh, you may have worked or heard of Eclipse Mars, which is again another form of IDE, which is integrated development environment. And developers, typical developers, use IDE for their development environment. But Android Studio is based on IntelliJ, and once it's installed, I'll briefly uh, show you that too as well. Great. So once the installation is complete, let's go ahead. And before I click next, if you click on show detail, it tells you and kind of walks you through all of these line by line items that it actually extracted and then ran through the installation. And these folders are kind of important. It's nice to keep track of these folders because once you start working with Android Studio, you may need to go to these folders, maybe check for your revisions or settings or delete your theme for example and so on so as a side note just kind of 
keep track of where the folders are being created and the files are stored in these folders. So let's go ahead, click next. And once the final dialog box appears, the Start Android Studio is checked. So I'm going to go ahead and click Finish and let's open up our Android Studio. Perfect. So I'm going to navigate down to my taskbar and open up the Android Studio. It asks me the previous version settings, right? So these are the settings for my Android 3.2 version, which I had installed earlier. So Android Studio is asking whether I wish to retain the previous version settings or I can specify the custom location of where these settings are coming from, right? So a config folder or installation home of the previous version. Or I can say do not import the settings. So if I choose this option, for example, this is going to install a clean version of Android 3.3, which is the latest version. But I'm going to go ahead and click on previous version because I have a lot of settings that I've created so far within my Android Studio. And I've, of course, taught the Android Studio course as well. So I want to maintain at this point in time. But you could, of course, click on the do not import settings and install it that way. If, again, this is your first time installing Android 3.3 version, you will not probably get this. It's just going to open up Android Studio. So I'm going to leave this highlighted, click OK. And this is going to go ahead and open up the Android Studio. And you will also notice that it's going to go ahead and delete the unused Android Studio directories. And I can select whether I wish to delete the directories or simply click cancels. So these directories below contain the configuration and system files for unused versions of Android Studio. So I can simply check the box next to each directory that I wish to safely delete. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Android 3.2, which is again the previous version, right? So and it's unused. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Click on delete directories. And you may not get this, right? If you're installing for the first time, you're not going to get the screen. It's just going to run through a simple install and install the latest version for you. There we go. So the Android Studio powered by the IntelliJ platform, right? So IntelliJ, again, is the integrated development environment. So it's going to go ahead and load the project for you because I retained the previous settings, right? So it's going to make sure that it brings out the previous project for me in this version. Congratulations. Perfect. You've successfully installed Android Studio 3.3 version, which is the latest version of Android Studio. Now, it comes with a host of new features, okay, that I'm going to cover in the next lecture. So hold your horses here. I'm going to cover all of these new features that Android Studio 3.3 version has. But in this lecture, I just wanted to install the Android Studio for you so you can kind of run through it and take a look at how easy it is to install the latest version. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, post in the discussion area. I'll be glad to help. With this, let's move to the next lesson.